Fire Force? Yeah, no, Fire Force, good episode. It's just uh, the the team up. So last uh, the the last time it was like, okay, we're in a three way, but you know the hygiene of people kind of got with the program. Um, so there's a couple cool things if you're if you're into waifus, you saw Arrow side boob a lot. So I'm sure that made some oh, people. Oh man, you know what? How Mayo honestly was like really wild this episode i was like i think this is the most that i've seen this character get spotlight and i'm like bruh she's just as crazy as inca oh they're all psychopaths like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah every I was like, one of them is a psychopath yeah i was like can you chill the fuck out you are all over the place this entire episode that that scene where she was like electrifying arrow i was like okay so this is fan service right yeah, absolutely. this is so fucking obvious but it actually made in a weird way it was fan service that advanced a character a little bit well both characters actually so it was odd yeah. it's odd that that worked dead. out but yeah i thought arrow was dead well she got fucked up for sure yeah for sure, but no, she lived, she survived. Um, the other interesting thing I, was where the scene where uh, uh, Charon actually defends Shinra. Okay, so actually, I actually got spoiled by the, on that. Oh, did you? <laughs> I got spoiled on that. Yep, yep. Good old, good old Twitter. Good old Twitter spoiled the shit out of me on that. Just ran, um, it was when Charon like first showed up um in the season mm-hmm. and someone just posted that fucking still in the comment thread and i was like now now how far in the future is this so after that happened this episode i kind of was actually like really happy because i was like oh my god so that means uh okay well that wasn't as bad i thought it was gonna be like a huge moment right and it actually happened. makes a lot of sense um i i know that for maybe some people who were like really weren't paying attention or had not been spoiled there was a little bit of like, why the fuck did that happen? That was super weird. But actually, they've been saying that's not weird. It's not weird. They've been saying since the first season that the uh, the, the 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 pillars are to be protected. Like that's the job yeah. of all of the like Charon, Arrow. Um, what's the 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 nun? What's her name? Or the maid? Uh, what's Ritsu. Her? Ritsu. Like their job is to protect the pillars, and they actually take that job very seriously. Like Charon. Never really was trying to kill Shinra when he was fighting him, or at least yeah, you know, he just wants to like incapacitate exactly. him. Exactly. In fact, they thought him. they could they could they could knock him out and then take him away, right? Because they their whole thing is they want to assemble all the all the pillars. So it's not yeah. a surprise that if his life was in danger, that Charon would actually defend him. And it's also not a surprise that there's dissent uh, between all of the pillars, their guardians, um, and whatever, because they're kind of allowed to do. More whatever or less, whatever, yeah, exactly, whatever they want to do, and they just have like what general orders, exactly, and they and since they're all insane, it's not a surprise. <laughs> I mean, we saw this even with like show uh, in that in that fight. Like, there's there's a lot of disagreement, and these pillars and guards don't really even like each other all that much. Yeah, they're they're just sort Which of all- also. It puts it in the context of like of how Maya fucking would show. I was just like, oh, so yeah. she just she just doesn't give a fuck. No, she doesn't give a single fuck. I mean, as long as they don't die, they don't really care. Yeah. So I thought that was cool. I feel really bad for Gone for Sun. Yeah. I re- I feel so bad for that kid. I'm just like, bruh, like I don't even know if therapy's gonna be enough for this little man. Well, I like how Jesus. Rekka was like in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's so, like, I would go with, it, uh, for that kind of, like, torture, like, my, like, and then Haumea, I was like, can you chill out? Like, oh, my fucking God. Like, you were literally in three different battles causing chaos. Right. And then, like, the like, shit with Arthur was a, not only was it oh a good God. laugh, but it also made a lot of sense. Oh, my God. I could feel the frustration. I could feel Vulcan's frustration right. in the moment. <laughs> I was literally just like, nigga, if you don't just stab the fucking thing. Yeah, right what now. was that line that he said where it's like his delusions are so inconsistent? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I make any progress or not. I just, I don't know. Like, I, I don't even know what kind of character development is going to come with his ass in the future. Because right now they're just like, he's, and he is the Haumea, like, switch thing. It's just like, nah, go deal with that bitch. Go, go handle this. Right. But you know what? I'm, I'm really enjoying. Like whenever Vulcan shows up, 
he always is showing up with a solution from a problem for a pre from a previous battle. Oh sure, yeah, yeah. That's the, that like, I think is a hallmark not only of Fire Force but Kubo in general. He re- he does remember like he's obviously writing week to week, but he has a long term plan and definitely mm-hmm. makes sure to to even in a show where people are as literally insane you know in universe insane and then also it's just a silly concept for a, a you know a, a characters and the world and everything else there's a kind of logical consistency that individual characters will will follow over the course of their time in the story like you it's rare yeah. that you feel like people did something for no reason or that there wasn't some like precipitating set of incidents where they're reacting to it in a way that makes sense or at least it's uh it's consistent internally to to them whether it's like you know shinra shinra like when he sees something and someone says something to him he's not a moron he remembers it so if that yeah shit, so that shit comes up later he's like oh yeah the like he reacts in a way where you're like okay this this is not insane and then to um to your point the gadgets which would otherwise come up as sort of like deus ex machina solutions to problems that that mm-hmm. a Vulcan is making we see previews of things all the time we see the characters are learning about other characters and either doing so like when he built you know uh when he built the stuff for Maki that was cool right so you could say to yourself well maybe this guy's gonna like upgrade everyone's stuff and that's his role in the story but his role in the yeah. story is really like what he said what it said from the beginning he's the squad's engineer his, his job is to sit there and look at the problems they have and then try to fix them for the next time they got to deal with it. And that's what he does. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, I forgot my favorite part of the episode, which there was a lot of good shit. I mean... Was it my... I, I think I, I could guess. Oh, you fucking <laughs> know it is. Guess. Yo, I literally... Maki beat yeah, she the fucked shit out, out of that girl. <laughs> Ooh, she beat the shit out of that girl. I was literally like, Damn! Like, uh, and the sound effects don't really help either. I'm like, yo, I wouldn't be surprised if I heard a bone crack. Yeah. Like, she bopped her in the, in her face with, like, just not even the fucking hand, just, like, the, uh, fuck, what is The wrist. Like, she wrist punched that bitch into yeah. submission. Maki is I a was brawler. Like, She's a fucking brawler. Oh, she is. And it was also hilarious when, like, she went into, like, the final headlock thing and yeah. they did, like, the flash of her gorilla face. <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like, man, y'all, I feel like they're having so much fun animating this shit. I love it, too. Also, I really love the Corono talking to the fucking president and yes. just, like, it being dead silence. <laughs> I, he's like, what, I, I'm I'm the idiot? Oh, yeah. yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Okay. Okay, and then he's like, "I gotta find a new job." Right, like, like his like uh, his character is literally salary man. It is, and he literally he's literally living in his own world. He's literally like, "Well, yeah, I went for the weak ones." Cause, yeah. <laughs> like what? <laughs> like like as though he's not doing anything wrong. He's like, "Yeah, I went for the weak ones because they were weak, and I want to go for the weak ones." What's what's problem? What's wrong? I love I love yeah, that part. There was a whole lot of like really. This is just a big character episode which is good yeah like ritu's fucking power thing got introduced or whatever yeah that was cool and i i thought that was interesting how they took because wasn't that that monster from the first episode this season wasn't that not part of the manga i don't remember that now someone can correct me if i'm wrong i i I thought i went back and checked and i don't think it was so they Hmm. may maybe that's a little tying up of a loose end of like introducing her character better in the show than it was done in the in, in the, the manga. manga, I don't know. I mean, I reserve the right to be wrong because I read a lot of that stuff a long time ago, um, and so it didn't. I didn't even. I didn't catch that that uh, connection. But I thought it was cool that she needed. You know, a lot of the. It seems like a lot of the guardians are second generations, um, mm-hmm. and so that she needed to like get an infernal in order to be the to create the core of the thing. You know, so her power could really Which work. Which is just like, how do you even find out you have that kind of power in the first place? Right. Like, what the fuck? Well, there's a lot of like, I, I like Fire Force because we start out with a lot of like very linear kind of powers. And then as things have gone on, you know, different applications of heat to electricity 
um, to you know slowing yeah, down. Yeah, like how may of being Spider Man. Right, how may, I was like, that was girl. that was also interesting. Cause you just turned into Spider Man halfway through the episode and ran away. I'm like, this is why your ass is fucking everywhere. Like, god yeah. damn. But yeah, I yeah I enjoyed it. Yep. Cool little episode. Uh, a lot um, of fun. Uh, 